Hello and welcome to Level Up Your Day with Nay, with me, Naomi Bryan, Empowerment Life Coach. So I am bringing you this week three videos with journaling prompts in, powerful journaling prompts in, in order for you to properly close out 2021 and start your 2022 in the best way possible. Now these journaling prompts are definitely for you if you are someone that has loads of stuff going through your mind from this last year just gone or maybe it might even be longer than that and you've got goals and dreams that you are certain, absolutely certain you want to achieve in 2022. And this exercise with these questions in over these three videos is so powerful in giving your mind the permission that it needs to help you create what it is that you want to create moving forward and resolve and tie off. Our minds love to have closure. Our minds love to know the ending of something. So this is a really good way of you instructing your mind how you want to close out this year and move into 2022. So if you've not yet watched the first video, go back and watch it before you watch this one. So the second journaling question that I want you to ask yourself, now I'm calling it a journaling question, I think this exercise is most powerfully done, sat down, pen and pen, uh, paper, and writing out the answer to these questions. It doesn't mean that you can't answer them in your head, you absolutely can, but it's most powerful when you sit and put pen to paper, and then obviously you can look back at the intuition and the guidance that has come through. So the second question that I wanna ask you to ask yourself is what is it that you are leaving behind in 2021? Or maybe who is it that you are leaving behind in 2021? Maybe you are somebody that sits in one of the lowest feelings that we as human beings can sit in, and that is guilt. Guilt of actually spending time or investing in yourself and your own personal development. Now, a lot of the people that I work with are busy working mums, they have partners, they have commitments, they have children. So there is a lot of guilt, I feel, that women put on themselves when focusing on themselves. So women will spend money on their children, on their partners, on something for the house. They'll also spend money on things that are front end. So, you know, like those things that look really good, our nice cars, our nice clothes, our nice shoes, bags. There is absolutely nothing wrong with that, by the way. I encourage you to do more of that. The thing is, women feel really, really guilty for spending any time or any money investing in themselves. And the truth of it is, everything goes from you first. So as mums, as partners, as people in business, we need to make sure that we take care of our own personal development first. We need to make sure that we take care of our own mindset, our own bodies first, before we go out into the world and give to anybody else. It's the same concept as when you're on an airplane and they tell you to put your own life jacket on first before you even try to assist anyone else. Because you can never ever help anybody in your world from a point of being flat out and broken yourself. And I also do really believe it's our duty to show up for the next generation that are watching us and for the people around us in the best frame of mind, the best body, the best person that we can be. So maybe it's giving up feeling guilty for taking some time or some money out to invest into yourself because it all goes from you, it all goes from your mindset, alignment with yourself and creating the most important relationship you will ever have, the one you have with yourself. Maybe there's some people who really are not the best for you to be around. Environment is fundamental to how we operate as people. And at the end of the day, I think it's Jim Rohn that says, you are an average of the five people that you spend the most time with. So who maybe lovingly do you need to be spending less time or absolutely no time with at all in 2022? And then something else that comes up for people all the time is this need to like work hard and struggle and almost like 
the harder you work, the harder it has to be. And like, then that's okay. If you've suffered enough, if you've worked hard enough and stressed yourself out and just been the busiest person that you know, like there's some kind of reward for struggling through the things that you need to do. I don't believe that life is supposed to be like that. So maybe it's the need to give up the need to struggle. It absolutely shocks me how many people don't actually feel worthy of being happy. Now I know life isn't gonna be happy all the time, like that does not exist, we're human beings, it's never gonna be that way. But I feel like there's kind of like an unconscious acceptance in society that in order for us to like be happy and be okay we have to have gone through a certain amount of struggle and like a, a sub story or bad times or the hardest life is not necessarily in order for you to be okay with yourself like I see people rushing around saying, like, I'm too busy for that, I'm too busy, I've got so much work on, I'm really too busy and I've got the kids and I've got the house and I've got my other job and my side job and my this and my that. And it's like some kind of medal of honour that we wear that if we're busy, then we deserve the right to be happy. Maybe you understand and you know that there has to be another way and it doesn't have to be like that. It gets to be easy, you get to be in the flow you get to choose the energy that you show up and turn up in. Now, I'm not saying that that is easy, um, but maybe that's something that you want to give up moving forward into 2022. So I would love to hear from you guys. What or who are you giving up? What are you leaving behind in 2021? Is it mindset? Is it emotions? Is it behaviours? Is it things? Is it people? Um, what is it that you're going to free up your time, free up your mind, free your emotions up from when you make the decision to let go of it and leave it in 2021? Have a fantastic evening and I will be releasing the next and final video, video number three of three, tomorrow on New Year's Day and it's a good one so make sure you don't miss out. Enjoy yourselves!